Hey so, it's Divine Soul here. You're welcome to the channel. If this is the first time stopping by, please do want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. So I have a quick message here for the collectives and please take only what resonates with you and leave what doesn't, okay? We are all on a different path. Some of you, you could have discovered this already. Some of you, you're yet to discover, but I'm speaking specifically to those of you that are on your self-discovery journey. I'm speaking to those of you that specifically you are on your spiritual journey, okay? You're on your, this, your healing journey, and this is what I need you to know. So if you feel like this is not for you, please just move, all right? Thank you so much for your cooperation. Anyways, moving on. The message that I received is in regards to your purpose. And when I woke up from the vision that I had, what I heard clearly was um, there are people that are pregnant. Okay, and you could be physically pregnant, but I'm saying like pregnant spiritually. Okay, you are pregnant and what you're pregnant with is your purpose. Your purpose is laying dormant inside of you and you need to burst it out. You need to bring it forth. You need to unleash it. You need to bring it out to the world to see. So some of you could be public speakers. You could be um, actress, actors, um, fashion designer, um, doctors, um, lawyers, whatsoever it is. Okay, We are all being called in different fields. You could be pastor, but I'm telling you, like people, people define purpose to just be in the church. And I need you to not to limit God because God works in different ways, okay? So your healing, your, you could have the gift of healing and your healing could not, maybe it's not even in church. Maybe it's to heal people in your hospital. Um, others of you is through your messages. You know, it, it's in different forms. So I don't want you to limit God. When I talk about purpose, I don't I don't want you to limit God to just a particular place, okay? So, um, and also I received that your blessing is attached to your purpose, you will be greatly blessed when you tap into your purpose. Okay, so I, I, ha I have a video on my other channel and I talked about the soul trademark. So um, I'll put the link down on the description box below. So hopefully it will help you as well on your journey. But right now you are being asked to focus on awakening to your purpose because it is laying dormant inside of you. So this is the season where your focus should be based on your purpose. Okay, start by outlining the things you are passionate about then find the one that you that gives you fulfillment when you do it then focus more on it so let me give you an instance in 2017 is it 2017 2018 i had this thing or way before then right i had this thing for makeup so i spent months um nights you know um watching videos on youtube to perfect that craft and it really did pay out of course because i was really really persistent in learning how to do makeup so i did makeup for my friends my roommates and while i was still in school and you know it was fun creating because i love look, making people look beautiful i love it i love the process so i ventured into that because i was really really invested in that it was really something that i was passionate about that season okay so um afterwards it changed okay in 20 2019 2020 i said venturing into um making clothes okay sewing clothes and you know all of those stuff because i love i love I just love people looking beautiful so if i make a dress for you and i see how good good it looks on you i'm like oh wow that's beautiful you know i love the aftermath of create of creation of creating okay and you know it just gives me the sense of fulfillment but afterwards in the same 2019 i was still perplexed like i was confused i was looking for something that really I'll feel f that will give me that sense of fulfillment on the inside. Makeup did not give me that fulfillment. Um, sewing clothes did not give me that fulfillment. I was just looking for that thing that will give me that fulfillment where I'm like, this is where I am. This is where I want to be. This is what I love to do. But already at the back of my mind, I already knew that, okay, I love to talk to people. I love to provide solutions to people because I had friends that would uh, were going through relationship issues and they would come to me and like, oh, what do you think about this? Or, or what do you think I should do? And I'll give them my two cents. And most times it helps, okay? And 
that was what um i think that was where god had to you know push me into because in 2018 i created my other channel and i really did not know why i started that channel in the first place but i was being pulled to start that and i started talking about relationships so if you go down to my videos you will see me talking about relationship and all of that so that was the part where i was being ventured into at first because i was still trying to understand what path i meant to go into but in 2019 um 2020 when i had my awakening I changed, I moved from talking about relationship to talking about life generally, spirituality and all of that. So um, I had to leave that video there because that's like my journey. So um, I'm saying this to say that many of you in this season or you, you are being guided to do something that you love. There's something that you could be passionate about that you need to focus more on. And that could be where God wants to um, move you into that place of position by using your craft, by using your gift, by using your skill, by using your talent to, you know, put you out in the spotlight. I hope this makes sense. So many of you could be actors, actresses, uh, public speakers, motivational speakers, um, makeup artists, um, whatever it is, okay? But I need you to understand that God... Um, God is the giver of life and God is the giver of gift. So all good things comes from God, right? So, but if you know that there is something that you love doing, like this thing, when you sleep at night, it gives you so much joy. You wake up in the morning, it gives you so much joy. That is something that you need to focus on. That is your passion. That is where you need to put more energy on. In 2022, I started off again on my youtube channel and the truth is after all said and done my um learning makeup learning how to sew the only thing that gave me fulfillment is talking to people providing solutions to people helping people that's something that gave me so much fulfillment i wake up in the morning and i'm so excited to give messages to people i sleep at night and i'm like okay many times when i sleep at night the dreams that i have is me talking to sharing messages with you guys so i love what i do because this is where i want to be this is where i am and i was in that space where i was confused i was thinking what should i do i was in that place where i was struggling to understand why i'm here what i'm here to do and in 2019 when i embarked on the journey with god that was when god awakened me to see that okay it's not even about makeup it's not even about um sewing the the thing that was common there is creation is creativity so god had to tell me to dive into something else and where i am right now is what i love to do like i live i breathe and i'm happy i'm fulfilled i'm blessed i'm grateful to god so i've said this before in the previous um my previous videos i said when you are being isolated, I need you to see that God wants to transform you. God wants to awaken you to who you are. Okay, so uh, if you are still confused in regards to your purpose, why you're here, what you're here to do, the reason why you are being isolated, the reason why the relationship ended, the reason why you disconnect yourself from, the, from people from the past is because God wants you to awaken to your um, your purpose. Okay, and let me tell you this. Your purpose announces you. Your purpose defines you. So in this season, be specific in your request. If you do not know what your purpose is, ask God. Gain clarity. God wants you to be specific in your request in regards to your purpose. And then I heard, come hither. I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. So many of you don't know your purpose. Many of you don't know why you're here. Many of you don't know your calling. You don't know your mission. But God is saying, come hither, come closer to me. I will show you the great and mighty things that you do not know. You do not know that this is inside of you. Because I see, I was being shown that many of you, your purpose is laying dormant inside of you. And it needs to come out. People need to see it. That is what will announce you to the world. Okay. So, um, ask God specifically. Dear Lord, what is my purpose? Reveal my purpose to me through people, through movies, through things, through music. Be specific through books. Reveal my purpose to me. Let me know why I am here, why I'm living and breathing. Because let me tell you this. If you are still living and breathing now in this moment, you have a purpose and God is not done with you. So this season, I need you to draw closer to God with the intention of gaining clarity in regards to your purpose. You are pregnant with your purpose. So right now, your soul desires to be purposeful. So this is why you are being asked to focus on it. This is the season of discovering your purpose. The heaven 
is open to review your purpose to you because you are needed in such a time like this. The reason why you're here, God wants to reveal it to you. Okay, this is a new earth. This is a new beginning. This is a new age. And there are people that are meant to be in power, in position. But you cannot be in that place of position if you don't even know who you are. So this is why God wants you to draw closer so that he will reveal to you your purpose so that you can be useful. You can use it to serve and be of, um, um, you can be purposeful as well. Also, let me tell you this, right? Purpose births blessings. When you are pursuing purpose, money is not meant to be in front. It's meant to be behind. So don't pursue your purpose with the intention of I want to make money off it. No. Purpose talks about, it's more about service, being of service, giving a part of yourself to the world. You're not holding back. You're just giving your part yourself to the world. You love what you do. You're enjoying what you do. Your money is not in front. You're leaving money is behind. I'm not saying don't think about money, but let your purpose be in front. Let the act of service be in front and let money be behind. Okay, because for me, the reason why I ventured into makeup and into sewing was because of the money. But with this, what, I, what I'm doing right now, I'm telling you, I'm, I love what I do right now. And I know that, okay, the money will come, but it's, let me just focus on being of service to people. And that's what you need to understand. Okay, so go after service. See how you can, you can be of service to the next person because that's why we are here. We are here to help. So put money behind and put your purpose in front. You don't pursue purpose and money is not now. Nah, it's, it's not. Pursue purpose, money will come. Right? Because your blessing is attached to your purpose. When you discover your purpose, that's when blessings come. Many of you are meant to be actresses. You're meant to be on the spotlight. But you need to discover that first within yourself. And I'm hearing practice. Behind the scene, okay? You're, you're being asked to practice more behind the scene. Whatever it is that you love to do, start practicing behind the scene. Anyways, I hope that this message resonates with somebody out there. So I want to leave you with a hint. Hopefully this will help you. So this could be your life path number. This could be your birth date or this could be your month of birth. But number four is coming through number nine, number eight, number three, and the number five, okay? Um, your birth month could be April, it could be September, it could be August, March, or May. And then your zodiac sign could be Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, and Taurus. But we're not limiting it to that. So in this season, you are being asked to focus more on your purpose. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, that's what you need to, you need to start doing right now. Go into it, okay? And, you know, God... We use that to, to exalt you. Anyway, so that's the message I have for the collectives. And I hope that this message gives you peace and clarity. Till next time, divine blessings.